gospel of Luke is considered the gospel of women. Luke presents many episodes emphasizing the relationship of Jesus with women. The novelty is not only in the presence of the women around Jesus, but also in his attitude concerning them. Luke's Jesus touches them and allows them to touch him, as in the case of the sinful woman who washed his feet uh, and wiped with her own hair. We heard that yesterday in the Gospel. Luke's Jesus allows women to follow him. The liberating power of Luke's Jesus allows women to rise and assume their dignity. Luke's Jesus is sensitive to the suffering of the widow and is in solidarity with her sorrow. Luke considers the, the insistent widow who struggles for her rights as a model of prayer. He considers the giving of the might by the poor widow as symbolic of, the com of complete surrender and dedication. Luke's Jesus also reports women to be the witnesses of his death, burial, and resurrection. And in today's passage, Luke considers the work of women who provided for Jesus and his companions out of their own resources as symbolic of God's kingdom on earth. Luke identifies three women by name to indicate how different it was. Mary Magdalene was delivered of evil possession. Joanna, Susanna, and other women were healed of sickness and infirmities. But regardless of the diversity among those who followed Jesus, they all seemed to have one thing in common. Jesus did something for them which only Jesus could. These women set out to help Jesus because they had experienced his healing power. Their very presence was a testimony to the identity of Jesus as the Messiah, bearing witness to the fact that Jesus had given sight to the blind enabled the lame and the paralyzed to walk, and freed many from the bondage of demons. And how did they end up serving Jesus and his team? Were they intentionally chosen to serve? No. They just responded to him naturally. They followed Jesus because they deeply loved him. As they followed him and spent time with him, they became like him. They began to be sensitive to, the, to seeing the needs of the community. And they responded to those needs according to their talents, skills, abilities, and available resources as they journeyed proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. Let us ask ourselves, how deep is our love for Jesus? And does our love for Jesus challenge us to become like him, being sensitive to the needs of others, especially the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of our family members? <laughs>